Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be discussing about recursive functions using callback in Node.js. So before we do that, I'll just give you an example of what are simple functions. So to define a function, we basically need to write function, okay, space the name, a parenthesis. If it's accepting any arguments, then it's fine. Otherwise, what that's uh, that function is supposed to do. So firstly, we define the function and post that we call it, okay. So what I'll do now is I'll basically run this function and then we are going to make some small changes and check the things out. Okay. So there we go. So console.log hello. Now this was a function without any arguments. Now let's give it an argument, say arg1. Okay. And now what we'll do is uh, we'll basically put that argument along. So arg1 and there you go. Now I'll just pass there, um, say, x y z okay give it a check so hello x y z so this was a function with and without argument now uh, if you want to go a step further okay so as we all know that node.js and javascript works asynchronously and suppose if you want to do something which is uh, going to happen synchronously so how do you do that so i'll give you an example suppose if you want to make a url call to three urls okay so how would you do that in a synchronous manner? So it's pretty simple in Java and Python. You can just give it a for loop and uh, it's gonna run in a loop synchronously, but that's not gonna uh, be happening with JavaScript or Node.js. Here, what will happen is that uh, it's gonna run in a non-blocking manner. So to make it synchronous, we have something called callbacks. So first I'll go with what are callbacks, okay? So let's understand that. So for your convenience, I've already typed off some things. So let me give it a paste and then explain you the code. There you go. So firstly, what I'm doing is I'm requiring a module called request. So this request is basically used for making API calls, okay? So this is the syntax for basically requiring or importing a module in Node.js. So where request is equal to require request, then I'm defining a function URL call. It's accepting two parameters or two arguments, which is URL and callback. Then what I'm doing is I'm defining a JSON here where options method get URL, the URL that we are giving it. Then we are using this request module, the request function here, so options. Then this is called a error first callback because the first parameter here returns the error. So function error response body, this is your callback function. If there's an error, it's gonna do this. If it's successful, then it's gonna do this, okay? Post all this, what we'll do is, this is the function definition, okay? This is the module that it required and then we are making the function call so how we are making the function call we are basically sending a url http www.google.com then function data this is your callback function okay this function that you see here this function data and what is this data data is nothing but whatever we are sending here in the callback okay this is what will return what this is what's going to be returned in your data okay so let's give it a check now data done http www.google.com and the status is 200 okay that means the url request was successful okay so this was a simple function okay function url get url and request options functions error response body if error then this if it's not then it's going to send this done and response status code now what if i got a set of 10 urls and i want to execute it in a manner like first url request response and only the, after the response comes for the first url the second url should be called okay which means a synchronous execution okay which happens in python and java then how do i do it so again for your convenience i have already typed off the things uh, and i'm just going to uh, explain you that how it works so there you go so this is your recursive call okay firstly i'll just let the, this function be here because it's going to be used okay and I'll just give you an example of how that recursive things will happen. So there you go. It's pretty simple. There you go. So now what is happening is function recursive URL call. URL list callback. Now, obviously, if you're doing something in loop, you would need an array. 
Okay, so I'm accepting one first parameter as a list. The second one is a callback. Then I'm checking if the length is greater than zero. I'm just using one array method, which is called array dot shift. Okay, the shift method basically pops out the first element in an array. Then I'm I'm storing it in a variable basically, and then I'm making call to this function URL call. Okay, and you have already seen what this URL call does. It basically makes a request and returns the status and callback. Okay, so this is what it's doing. And then it's going to do this until and unless the array becomes empty. And if it's empty, then it will execute the callback function, okay? Of what, of which basically of the recursive URL call. So whenever you're calling the recursive URL call, you will basically pass one callback function method. So at the end of the array, after the array is being finished, after all the URLs are being called, it's going to call the callback function. Now let's see how this goes. So this is my URL call okay and there i come now you see this recursive url call now what i'm doing here is i'm basically passing an array the first url is google.com and the second one is youtube.com then i'm passing a callback function which which is having something called final now this final will be this recursive execution done whatever you're passing inside the callback will be given here so function final and then console.log final so this will only happen this callback function will get executed only after we have finished or we are done with our array url calls okay fine so let's give it a try and you'll see everything on the console okay so it's gonna go and it's gonna give the messages on the console so the first response there and goes as 10 http google.com and the status is 200 so this happened for the first array element okay and this depends on the bandwidth that you're having it's going to return and then you've got the second response as well and then finally the execution done but ideally if you would have used a for loop here in node.js the responses would have come as they uh, were i mean you could you cannot order your responses basically if the second response so the the second url call response comes first then it's going to be displayed before the first one so if you want to synchronize the things this is what you need so see the first and the second and then the recursive execution done so this is how we had timed it actually right so these are nothing but uh, recursive function using a callback in node.js thank you for watching